finding the origin of the campfire isn't easy. A slow, careful drive takes us along this bumpy dirt and gravel road. We come upon a crew working atop this hill near these towers, but it isn't clear from our vantage point what they're doing. We're on Camp Creek Road near Polga Road, and it was in this area, according to Cal Fire, that the campfire started on November 8th. This is the same area that a PG&E employee observed a fire near a tower at close to 630 that morning, right around when Cal Fire says the campfire started. This letter from PG&E to the California Public Utilities Commission says that just 15 minutes prior to the fire, a transmission line de-energized. And later that afternoon, an aerial patrol discovered damage on a line at the tower near where the fire started. Six days later, on November 14th, PG&E then found more, a broken sea hook, wear at the connection, and a flash mark on the tower. That's not the only area with damage. On November 9th, a PG&E employee patrolled the area of Flea Mountain where an outage occurred the day prior. There, the employee found a broken pole with bullet holes and bullets on the ground. Further, on November 12th, an employee on patrol within the burn zone near Concow and Rim Roads found down wires and damaged and down poles. Snap trees were on top of some of them. We asked pg &E to talk us through its letter and show us the towers described in that letter. Additionally, the significance of the bullets and the bullet holes, how old or new they may be, we were instead referred back to the letter and given a statement. It says in part, the loss of life, homes and businesses in the campfire is truly devastating. Our focus continues to be on assessing our infrastructure to further enhance safety, restoring electric and gas service where possible, and helping customers begin to recover and rebuild. That process appears to be happening here near Polga, with still so much more work to be done. In Polga, Max Resnick, KCRA 3 News.